Recall that, for an electric current to exist, electrons have to be pushed in a specific direction through a circuit. The ability or potential to push electrons in a circuit is called voltage, represented by the letter V. Batteries are a voltage source, which is why they can create current in a circuit. Voltage is measured in volts, which are denoted by the letter V. For example, a 12-volt car battery is written as 12 volt. With a higher voltage, a bigger current can also be obtained. We refer to the rate at which the electrons flow through a conductor as current. Current is like how much water falls per second in the waterfall analogy. Current is typically identified as the letter I in diagrams and formulas. The unit of measurement for current is the ampere. The amperes, commonly shortened to amps, are denoted by the letter A. Resistance is the opposition to the flow of electric current. It varies depending on the material and its shape. In the waterfall analogy, resistance is like rocks, trees, or other obstacles slowing down the flow of water. Resistance is usually denoted by R, and its unit of measurement is ohm, denoted by the omega symbol, omega. Resistance can be measured with the use of an ohm meter. Voltage, V, current, I, and resistance, R, come together in a circuit to make it work. A voltage source connected to a circuit will cause a current to flow. This circuit will offer opposition to current flow, which are the resistances in the circuit. All our electrical devices work as a circuit, and we operate them by opening and closing those circuits. To achieve this, we have switches included in the circuits. A switch physically opens or closes the circuit when activated.